welcome to yet another one of my Bangkok vlogs. I've lost track of what day number it is of the trip. I've lost track of what number of vlog it is. Doesn't really matter at this point. We spent the morning in because we figured we will actually, once we step out, walk a lot. So it only makes sense to do it once in the day, not twice. The weather gets more pleasant and there are more uh, street food stalls in the evening. So we're doing it in the evening. It's about 4 p.m. right now. And we were debating earlier this morning, where will we go exactly? We knew we'll go on Silom Road because Silom Road is just magnificent. And we are like near the temple. So we are somewhere in the middle. We could go towards Upper Silom, which has like a lot of malls, not a lot of malls, but two or three. We're not interested in brand shopping at this point, but there's good street food that side. It has like a lot of night activity also because there are a lot of clubs and there's this really famous risque night market called Patpong, which we just decided to skip this time because there's no longer novelty in seeing sex toys on the road. So we didn't know whether we'd go that side or we'd head towards Bangrak, which is the lower side of Silom, which is towards the river. And that was the place that we stayed when we'd come here seven years ago. So we're really familiar with that area. That's a totally different area from the upside. Like it's not as posh. It's really crowded, but they're all like local old houses and local people living there as opposed to this area which is more like gentrified and posh and new development when you go down it's like going to like Dadar or something in Mumbai would you say? yeah it's sort of like that there are a lot of more old houses the city. yeah towards the city but not all of the city some of the city is posh so I mean to say like where are, there are those like, lo sure. yeah, like local people and old houses and stuff like that yeah Dadar is coming to mind but there are a lot of other places for those of you in Bombay who wanted a comparison. So now we decided that we'll go towards the lower part only of Silom. I will go towards Bangrak and we'll go to the Robinson's Bangrak. May we have a Sunday at Swenson's because our colds have almost cleared up and we are feeling adventurous. Uh, Swenson's is really famous for their Sundays and stuff. So maybe we'll go there because we wanted to do it at least once before leaving and uh, then we'll also shop at top supermarket which is my favorite i feel like i've become a grandmother because shopping in a grocery store <laughs> makes me so excited and for your cats yeah and shopping for the cats we bought like cat food cat treats especially things that we can't get in india we did so much of shopping for them so that was nice the last time we went we shopped a lot but we can buy some more stuff then there are chocolates and biscuits and snacks that you just don't get anywhere else and even the instant noodles are so good yeah. we really like the noodles they pale in comparison to the noodles available in mumbai we didn't do that much shopping in bulk this whole trip and we have luggage allowance 60 kilos 60 kilos between us so we need to fill that up so that's where we are going and today i look like the most hobo that i've looked on this entire trip i've been wearing this zara dress everywhere i love it um it's so comfortable it's so easy it kind of looks like a nighty but the colors make it look stylish and it has been my go-to piece on this trip and my hair is super greasy so like ponytail it is enough talking now let's go <laughs> Check this out guys, I don't know who parked this but look at this pickup truck. <laughs> it's half on the sidewalk and half on the road. Very daring.
so we are back from the supermarket we walked um quite a lot on Silam road we are eating really indulgent food here so we feel like at least walking would counterbalance that a little bit yeah definitely we are eating pork beef fish and everything that is and sweet here. stuff also yeah and salads <laughs> it's a salad. She's not called crazy salad lady for no reason. <laughs> yeah, no, you get lovely salads here. Yeah, you do. We had the papaya salad yesterday. I think um, it's what you call som tham. I'm not sure. Um, usually it's spicy, but she made us a fresh salad, uh, and we told her less spice, and it was so delicious. We ended up having it earlier today actually because we had too much stuff yesterday. Salad could keep well in the fridge, just like a communal fridge downstairs, and it was really really good. So definitely going to her at least once more um, buying two not one yeah buying two for sure so now we have beer with us because we wanted to try some local thai beer like why not singa yes, yes. so it says singa and it is what does it say written on it the original thai beer since 1933 isn't it kind of tastes like kingfisher right yeah like Tastes like some beer that we we could be having in Goa. It's like yeah, light, um, not too bitter. We don't like bitter, and like nice and fizzy and refreshing. My favorite beer though is Miller beer. I think it's Miller Ace, but there's also Miller High Life. I really like that because it's not bitter and it's very frothy. Yeah. It's very frothy and it's nice. But generally, I'm not much of a beer person, and I'm really not much of an alcohol person. We had many cans when uh, Goa last time. Yeah, the Miller, Miller. one. Yeah, Mum likes beer more, as in she also doesn't drink that much. But I, I don't like beer bitter. But this is not bad. You kind of saw glimpses of all the different street foods that we picked up, like um, the fish balls and the seaweed balls, and what else did we buy? Like some frittata type thing, like mm. omelet frittata. Mm. I could I could survive on the food here for a long time. I don't even miss Indian food. Like when I travel, I generally miss pani puri because I love pani puri. But I I could live here for a year and I would not miss Indian food. Me too. Because it's better food here. I mean, to be honest, yeah. to our tastes. Yeah. And that, available freely. There's like uh, pork, beef, everything. Like in India, most of the states beef is banned, which is shitty. Even pork isn't that easily available. But here, everything is there. So Goa and Pondicherry and Kerala is good for getting like even beef in India. Kerala also, yeah, yeah, we had, beef. We had a lot of beef. And Maharashtra, we have the distinction of being, I think, the first state to ban beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get back to life and Cheers. beer. Cheers, guys. And we are not drunk, in case you think that. We've just started on this bottle. It's not even quarter finished. Yeah, because people are going to ask. People are going to judge you now. Let them judge. I'm paying for my beer. Are they paying? <laughs> She's in a certain mood today. <laughs> so firstly, please excuse the mess that you see because we're doing shopping every single day and we're not getting the chance to sort things out. So that will be taken care of in a while. But I bought a fair amount of Pocky. Um, Pocky is originally a Japanese snack. But uh, this is made in Thailand, so it was not like really expensive because they had the Japanese imported pocky, and that was like atrociously priced. And I got green tea, almond, and cookies and cream. So I haven't tasted any of these um, yet, but hopefully I will try them when I get back to Bombay. I'm saving them. So let me know if you want like a pocky tasting video or something. I don't know, but yeah. I'm really excited about the matcha one especially. This is one of the first street food things we bought outside Robinson's. It's kind of like a frittata or an omelette with egg and I don't know if there's like seafood or something because there's seafood in everything. Those are like sprouted. It's moong, right mum? It looks like, I'm not sure about here, but it looks like... It smells really nice and I like that the street food here is much more hygienic as well. So I'm currently having the frittata. There are these black things, so mum and I have guessed that these are mussels or shellfish. This is totally yummy and it's definitely a repeat. A lot of you guys have asked me uh, to mention costs wherever I can. So this thing cost 50 baht, which is 100 rupees. So I think that is like so good for the price. So I'm now going to try out these uh, different deep fried bowls that we bought. I think uh, they are two shrimp, one seaweed and one salmon. 
if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how that turns out. And I also wanted to give a little shout out to these yummy like homemade donuts that you can get at many places on the street. We bought some a few days ago and we weren't sure if they were going to be tasty but they're really really nice. They're light and they're not too sweet. There's a lot of sugar on the outside but it's still not over sweet. So we bought like two more packets today. I also tasted these and they are pretty delicious. Definitely recommended. And <laughs> the coals come back I think after eating ice cream at Swenson's. But it was worth it. The stuff at Swenson's is very good. I just like knew that we had to go at least once and we shouldn't let the cold stop us. And I think we'll go again as well. They have so many really interesting things. And my Sunday today, um, other than ice cream and whipped cream, it actually had jackfruit and corn, which are both kind of weird, right, to put in a Sunday. But it totally worked. And it was nice that there was something a little bit crunchy that wasn't too sweet in the case of corn at least. Jackfruit's a little sweet. But yeah, it was nice. We've had a good food day. You can't go wrong with most of the food here. Every time we buy something new, uh, we just buy like a little bit the first time just so that we don't waste if we don't like it. But I think we've ended up liking every single thing. <laughs> so it's after midnight now and I'm getting kind of sad that this holiday is coming to a close. Friends back home have been asking me um, where I've been going and what kind of sightseeing I've been doing. But the thing is, we haven't done that much sightseeing because we saw most of the interesting stuff like the temples and all that we had come seven years ago so nothing has changed because they are all historic temples and we're not really big on sightseeing on the whole safari world yeah we went to safari world also which was a decent it's like an animal park outside bangkok so it was fun at the time but they have elephants there and they make you ride elephants and stuff if you want. Um, but since then I've realized that if you love elephants you shouldn't partake in any kind of activity or any like you shouldn't support any place that has like elephant riding because apparently elephants uh, aren't made to be ridden by human beings and that really damages their back and stuff. So that's something that I've tried to incorporate and I've also like been sharing it on my Facebook and stuff. So it's really nice to know that in case you love elephants or in case you love animals to really avoid these attractions and these places that have elephant riding and chain up elephants and stuff like that. But generally what I'm trying to say is that we are not really into like the big sightseeing and like the touristy spots some of them are good but what we really enjoyed the most this time and i think mum would agree is just the slow travel um the walking about the taking the bts uh, the little bit of shopping the lot of street food eating and all that that is the stuff that we've loved the most just sort of staying like a local in a way like i know we're not really staying like locals but still that to me is much better than sightseeing but little sightseeing is good also but this has been a great trip so far i think i talk too much in this entire vlog and i talk too much right now so i'm gonna end this vlog and tomorrow is sunday so we hadn't planned to do anything really special on sunday may the lady who runs the hostel uh, just gave us a little idea of a place to go a really good suggestion so that is what we are planning to do as of now we're also taking a new form of transport that we have not tried until now. Tomorrow we'll definitely have a separate vlog of its own that you guys will see soon. And I'm hoping that it'll be a fun excursion. And I may also like shop a little bit more maybe. <laughs> Let's see what it's like. I'm signing off for tonight. So bye guys and see you in my next video. <laughs>